Hey everybody, are you enjoying your house arrest? As I said before, this is nothing more than house arrest or martial law that everybody's under. Now, I've been doing a lot of research about this so-called quote-unquote virus and the origins of it and uh, just a lot of different theories about it and uh, I've, I've just run the gamut <laughs> but I'm still holding to my original premise because actually uh, I have foreseen things before okay uh, way back when in in the Jade Helm era okay and I even did a video on that I have seen things coming and I know where this is going. And I said in my previous videos that they'll probably kick the can down the road uh, with this lockdown or whatever, whatever you want to call it. OK. And the more you think about it and the more you ponder on it, the more you're going to realize, OK, that they're trying to destroy civilization here in America. It's basically what they're trying to do. They're trying to destroy the small businessman. Now, the first thing that I'm going to appeal to, okay, is to the small businessman, because I know you're hurting, okay, and I know that they're putting the jack boot on your neck, just like they're putting it on everybody's neck. They're trying, see. But the whole reason that this this lockdown is working, OK, is because everybody is complying without question. OK, everybody is complying because they're so afraid, OK, that they're going to get sick or they're so afraid that they're going to be accused of making other people sick. OK, just like when I was on Pinterest the other day. I saw this thing that said, stay at home. You don't want to kill somebody else by blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is fear porn. This is fear mongering. And this is being done by our government. Now, this, this, this is again to the small business owners first. Open up your doors. Open up your doors, people. We need your uh, goods and services. Okay. We need to be able to feel like uh, we're free again to do whatever we want. And to quote a, a video that I just saw recently, people need to get a backbone and a set of balls, okay? Because where they're going with this is indefinite. I mean, it looks indefinite at this point. So that's 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 my that's my message to to small business owners, okay? And to to any business, I mean middle-sized business, the only thing that's going to keep this uh from going on indefinitely is for people to realize that it's up to them. Okay. It's up to the populace to stop this. They don't have control over the whole populace. Are you kidding me? They would need hundreds and hundreds of thousands of troops. And I already I already did a study. I didn't do a study. I, I read a study, okay, about logistically what it would take, okay, to declare martial law and go around arresting everybody and calling out the National Guard in all these cities and they don't have they don't have a iota of the amount of people that they need to do that. Okay. They don't they could never cover all the bases. They could never lock everybody down. That's why they've used this false flag of this COVID dash nineteen, okay? The false flag, okay, of psychological warfare, okay, on people to complete an agenda. 
Okay. Now there's all kinds of ideas out there about about what this, uh, you know, what the agenda is. Okay. But ultimately, it's about controlling people. I mean, isn't that right out front in your face? Now, other people besides businessmen, this is for you. Flaunt this. Go out in the streets. Do what you want to do. Because nothing is out there that's going to hurt you, okay? Nothing is going to hurt you. This is all phony. It's all bullshit. It's all a hoax. I live in a, a small rural community, okay? And the people out here are just ignoring it, okay? <laughs> the people out here are like the kids outside uh, next door playing. And uh, this is this is kind of like a farming, ranching community. I won't say where it is because I don't need to. But everybody here is riding around uh, in their trucks and uh, motorcycles and uh, uh just having fun riding around, uh, riding their horses. Um, it's like, you know, out here, um, not, nothing's happening. Nothing, no, there is no, uh, there is no lockdown. <laughs> okay. So that's why I'm telling you that, uh, this is my opinion. And of course, you could do whatever you want to do. You know, you can do whatever you want to do, but uh, I have the right to speak freely. And uh, what I'm saying is, my opinion is you need to, to, to just ignore this. It's time for some massive civil disobedience, okay? The only way that you're going to stop this lockdown and, and for the businesses to reopen, okay, is for you to get out in the streets and say, you know what? We're not buying into this shit because really you haven't proven to us. Okay, we got we got pictures. You know, I'm monitoring uh, I'm monitoring a, a certain social media that I find is uh, probably more less influenced. Okay, or less censored. Okay. And I'm not even going to mention that name, but it's like it's like a Facebook, but it's not. OK. And so uh, I've been monitoring some of the some of the feedback on that. I've been monitoring some of the feedback on uh, some of the uh, YouTube videos, my video and other people's videos. Basically, it, you know, what's happening is people are getting angry. OK, they're getting angry. And didn't I say that? Didn't I say that in my last video or the one before that? You need to review all five or four or five of my last videos because I speak the truth, people. I'm on a high, high enough level of consciousness, okay, to see beyond, okay, to see beyond the machinations of the dark evil ones and what their agenda is. Now, there's several there's several thoughts on agendas, okay, and uh, there might be a little bit of truth in every one of them, okay. There might be a little bit of truth in every one of them, because things are starting to surface from the alternative side of the uh, news source here on on YouTube and other places, and and just comments in general, and. One of, one of the things that, that I want to point out here is that uh, one of the things that has been pointed out to me, let's say, is that this uh, 5G thing, okay, this 5G thing might be, uh, might, might have something to do with what's going on here, locking people down. So, you, you know, I know they're doing this in England now. I don't know about here in the States. But I heard tell that they're installing 5G in schools and they're erecting these 5G micro, uh, microwave towers that is just horrible, horrible stuff. Okay. This is just like uh, radiation on your own block. Okay. Radiating out uh, 
high, high EMF frequency type uh, stuff. Okay. And uh, I've heard several videos from people that I respect, okay, that are looking at this thing and going, um, it's manufactured. It's a manufactured uh, warfare, okay. Uh, yes, they might have uh, they they might have messed around a little bit with uh, a SARS uh, flu uh, thing um, that you know they might have strengthened it a little or they might have done this or that. But as far as like seeing people drop dead by the thousands or even the hundreds. Uh, it's not happening, people. And uh, there's a lot of people like, okay, on this, uh, I'll just say the, I'll just say the social media LinkedIn. Okay, there's a lot of people that are uh, sending stuff to my life partner Natalie, and uh, and myself. Okay, about pictures of of supposedly these hospitals that are just overburdened with uh, cases of. Uh, this supposed uh, virus, okay, empty people, empty. Nobody there. Nobody in emergency rooms. None of the, uh, none of the stuff. Even from New York City, okay, we're receiving pictures. It is. It's not happening, people. It's not happening. People aren't dropping like flies. Uh, are the usual amount of people dying probably from the usual causes and uh, from the stuff that they always, uh, if, they're, if their immune system was weak or if, they, if they're in, in the elderly class, which even, even then uh, I've heard of some el elderly people uh, supposedly that they, they labeled having this uh, Coming out of it fine, okay. It was just it, 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 it's another flu bug, okay. So, do you want to be locked down in your house for uh, months and months and months, okay? Do you small business owners want to lose everything that you've invested in your business? Because somebody is telling you without proof, without proof, okay, that we're in some kind of massive Spanish influenza type epidemic. Not, we're not, okay. And another thing that I found curiously funny, okay, was the fact that on my last video, just because I put, put the Put the word virus in there. What does YouTube do? They pop up and put a. You can get your COVID nineteen information from us. Like like what I'm saying is is bullshit or something. And really, it's quite the opposite. Okay, it's quite the opposite. Now, my girlfriend and I were talking the other day, my life partner, and we were, were we were saying. Uh, why why are people just buying into this blindly a lot of people uh, is it just fear that they're going to die is it fear that that are they afraid of the authorities are they because see this this is in effect it's it's a martial it's a martial law lockdown now people if you love your community okay if you supposedly quote unquote love america well, then you're going to go out and you're going to save your community, okay, truly save your community by civil disobedience, okay? Nobody said, okay, that you have to accept what goes against your law and under uh, your rights under natural law. Nobody, nobody said that, okay? Now, I did a, I did a reading from the, 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 Kabbalion, okay, and didn't get a whole lot of views because I realize it's deep, okay. But in that reading, which was two videos ago, it explains to you all the little machinations and the little laws and the little hidden occult laws that they're using against you, and they could be using them for you, okay. 
what is the agenda here? Well, they're, obviously they want to control people. They want to usher in the new world order. Okay. They want everybody under their, uh, under their thumb. They want control of the populace. They want, they want to, oh, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. If you let this go any further, you're going to be very, very sorry. You need to get out in the streets. You need to talk to your neighbors. You need to talk to your family. Okay. You're going to be very, very sorry. Why? Because we got psychopaths like Bill Gates. Okay. Hi, Bill. You're a psychopath. You're in that. Okay. And you're going down. Okay, because your karma is going to kick your ass so bad, you ain't going to, it's going to kick your ass right up between your shoulder blades. And you too, Elon Musk. Okay. These are, these are people out there. And, and how about Fauci, this guy that showed up out of nowhere from, from what, the Hillary regime? All of a sudden he's in the White House with Trump. And you people that think Trump has it under control? Fauci said the other day, well, I don't, I can't see us. Who is he to say this anyway? I can't see us uh, coming out of this lockdown until there's not one new case. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now, listen, people. I'm speaking from the heart here. You want to save your community? You want to save your own ass? Don't buy into this new world order agenda. Do you realize how quick they, they put this into place? And you know, years ago, years ago, when I was doing videos on Jade Helm and other things, I said to myself, geez, I wonder, I wonder when, when they're going to get to the point, okay, where they're really going to play the pandemic card, okay? When they're really going to play that card heavy, okay? They're going to throw it down on the table. I wondered back then, when are they going to use that as a false flag, okay? Because I've been saying all along, one of these days they're going to they're going to pull the big false flag thing and it and it's either going to be uh in my mind i in my mind at the time i had the idea that it could either be a, a pandemic or maybe a maybe a holographic thing that they beam up into the sky that christ is coming or that the aliens are coming or something which they have the technology to do that too so don't rule that out okay they have they have this Star War technology where they can beam stuff up into the skies and uh, make you think that there's something up there that isn't. Um, the second coming of the aliens, you know, whatever. Okay, to put people in mass panic, but no, they did it. They did it with the pandemic card. Okay, this is what you're experiencing now. Okay, I mean. What else would put mass amounts of people into sheer paranoia? Think about it. Think about it. Use your reasoning. For God's sake. I mean, if there was any time in your life, okay, that you ever had to use your reasoning and your discernment and your intuition, these are gifts that were given to you by the Creator to be able to discern evil from good, uh, things that don't feel right to you, okay? Now, does this really feel right to you? Have you been given enough evidence for you to totally uh, change your lifestyle into one of freedom, to one of being a prisoner? Because that's what you are. You're a prisoner. Just as sure as you have shackles around your uh, ankles, okay, and around your, your, your hands, handcuffs, you're a prisoner, and you better believe it, okay? And the longer that you let this go, the worse it's going to get. The longer this goes on, the longer you let yourself uh, believe 
with these maniacal, psychopathic, dark, evil ones are doing, then then I'm going to say that, you know, you get what you deserve. If you do this, you get what you deserve. Now, the real thing that you have to realize, okay, in order to get over this, the real thing that you have to realize, <clears throat> excuse me, is fear, okay? Once you get beyond, okay, once you get beyond your fear of death, okay, once you get beyond your fear of whatever it is, whatever your fear is, uh, I mean, that that has to be that has to be the the ultimate fear i guess of dying of some horrible disease because haven't they haven't they per perpetuated that, that through all these these movies like z and uh you know all these these pandemic movies uh, i mean going way back starting a long time ago and this is this is something that has been planned along for a long time people just like they planned 9-11. Just like they planned that a long time, okay? When they took down those twin towers, our own government took down those twin towers. That was planned a long time ago. Uh, they, even, they even thought about doing it back when they were, back in the Kennedy uh, days, in the, in the pre-Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy turned it down, actually. That might have been one of the reasons he got assassinated. Operation Northwoods. Look it up. Look it up. They wanted to. They wanted to take down airliners, shoot them down, and say that the Cubans did it. Okay. Classic false flag. Okay. And uh, they stated many times, "Well, we need another Pearl Harbor to uh, get the people in line to get them uh, to get them to the point where we can control them more and lay more laws and rules on their." and all this stuff okay so what you're doing people is you're allowing them to get away with with something very similar to that you're allowing them to manipulate your minds okay now i said before you have to get over your fear you have to raise your consciousness up okay now the reason that i'm doing this video is is for my my fellow man for mankind in general as far as myself goes, uh, I'm just kicking back. Like I said, I'm in a rural area out here. I'm kicking back. I'm watching all this. Uh, I, I watch the sun come up. I have mountains all around me on all four sides. I watch the sun come up every day. Beautiful sunsets. Beautiful sunrises. Uh, lots of animals out here, birds, and uh, they're just having a good time chirping away. And everything is uh, na in nature is is happening the same as it always was, and everything looks good and everything feels good. Okay, and to me, okay, I'm not even afraid of of of, of mass chaos, and uh, I'm not afraid of whatever goes down. Because my secret is, okay, and this is one that uh, you you could also have in your little uh, arsenal, okay, is your consciousness, okay? My secret is, I don't care what happens because whatever happens, it's an illusion. I told you that before. On the lower level, uh, when you when you raise your consciousness up to that higher level, when you use the principle of polarity and rhythm, all the hermetic principles, when you meditate daily, you see this you see this world for what it is, okay? And pretty soon you're starting if you meditate and meditate and meditate and dive deep into spirituality and raise that consciousness up higher and higher and higher. Well, then you realize that you start are starting to think uh, with a fourth dimensional mind, fourth dimensional consciousness, not a third dimensional. So 
if you're believing in all this stuff, which you seem to be, people out there, if you're believing in this lower level, third dimensional thinking, then you have to operate within that realm of the third dimension, unfortunately. Okay. And so the only way that you are going to overcome this in the lower realm is by civil disobedience. Okay. By, and, and, and in a sense that that's changing your consciousness. Okay. I'm hoping that there might be a mass awakening finally. Maybe this is a trigger. Okay. Maybe they've, they've, they've had so much rope, okay, that they're going to hang themselves with their own silly ass, egotistical striving and greed, okay? Because cause make no mistake about this, uh, it has to do, in, in the end, no matter what the agenda is, has to do with power, okay? It has to do with power and greed, okay, and resources and money, okay, and control. All of the very, very high egotistical uh, mortal, okay, thinking, egotistical and mortal thinking. It's not immortal thinking, and it's not raising above the ego into the higher consciousness. Okay, and on the Egyptian tree of life, okay, there's the seven, seven chakras or the seven energy centers in the body, and each one represents a different energy or, you know, from lower to higher. So down here in the Egyptian god and goddess thing, which is just a metaphor, you have set, okay, and Set is one of the gods, okay, on the tree of life that you have to bypass or overcome. And guess what set is? Set is ego. Set is ego, okay? And then above that, you have a Asar or, or Osiris, okay? That transcends ego, and now you're starting to get into the upper realms of consciousness, of immortality, not mortality, okay? So don't remain real low on this tree of life level, okay, whether you go by the Egyptian tree of life or the Kabbalah or whatever. This is a time where you can be spiritually reborn and you can raise your consciousness to a degree. And how do you do that? Well, you do that by doing what I said. You take your power back, okay, from the ones who are egotistically and, and inclined greedily towards your enslavement, okay? And make no mistake about it, people, this is enslavement, okay? It's time to release the bondage, the chains of enslavement, not only physically, okay, but mentally and spiritually, okay? Now, I know a lot of you people out there have some form of religious belief. But just remember, these, these religionists, okay, never taught you, they never taught you how to raise your consciousness, okay? They only taught you how to feel guilt and fear from dogmatic teachings, okay? The lower religious realm of thinking, not the higher metaphysical, mystical, esoteric meaning, okay, behind everything. And that meaning is don't be enslaved in any way, shape, or form. And what you know what the biggest enslavement is? The biggest enslavement is you enslaving yourself with your own mind, by your own materialism, by your own greed, by your own selfishness by your own fears, by your own anxieties, by your own low level of thinking, okay? So, you can start, okay, 
you can start the climb up the path up the tree of life by not letting people control you okay by being a free spirit okay and i'm going to i'm going to just say that uh on this again on this lower third dimensional realm of the illusion of life the maya as the hindus call it the illusion the delusion within the illusion okay if you're going to operate there and you're you're going to uh want to uh feel a, a little bit more free or a sense of freedom okay that's not the ultimate freedom the ultimate freedom is breaking the bonds of your thinking it's breaking the bonds of your thinking and getting beyond the lower level of fear okay so what i'm saying is on this lower level again start there because most people don't have the consciousness they haven't been meditating for years okay i i understand that and i love my fellow man i believe me i do so they haven't been meditating for years and they ha they don't know how to rise above all this stuff and they're it, it's it's really criminal people listen to me it's criminal what they're doing to you it's criminal the way they play with your mind okay my mind can't be played with one last thing here if you don't know where this is going I'll tell you where it's going. It's going towards inoculations, injecting you, okay? Violating your personal natural law rights to not have anything taken into your body or your mind for that matter. They've already violated that. But not having anything forced fed into you Think of somebody jamming something down your mouth and force feeding you and you're trying to spit it out and you don't want it. Well, that's what they're going to do. In fact, they're already doing it. They're spraying the skies with chemtrails every day. Every day there's toxic chemicals in the sky. And you look up and you think, oh, those are vapor trails from jets. No, they're not. This is just another part of the population control, okay, that they're instituting. And that's 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 another thing that this is. You know how many people they say they're worried about people are dying. You know how many elderly people aren't going to go to hospital and aren't going to go to doctors for their normal treatment because they're going to be afraid that they're going to pick something up there. So really, basically, these people are maniacal, psychopathic, murdering MFers, okay? That's what they are. And you can't let them get away with this. If you do, it's over. It's over. Next thing you know, they're going to, be, they're going to have mandatory uh, little cards, okay, where if you haven't had your inoculation, you can't travel from point A to point B. Or maybe they won't even give you a license. Or maybe they, they, they'll, they'll institute any, any, any number of things, okay, to clamp down on you, okay? You, you, uh, you people are, are headed for, for some sorrowful times. You really are. And we all are. Uh, it, it, we're all in this boat together, okay? But you can be in that higher boat, like the Egyptian mystics say, the boat of Ra, you know, Amun Ra, the creator, okay, the, the, the first uh, principle, uh, the first uh, manifestation of the creative force, okay, in ancient religion, ancient uh, spiritual beliefs. You can be riding in that boat with Amun Ra and be free of all this stuff. Okay, if you just raise up your consciousness, take your power back, uh, just say we're not going to do it. Man, I'm telling you, there's, there's power in numbers. Just refuse to do it. 
Okay? That's all you need to do is just say, eh, no, not going to do that anymore. You know, we're going to we're going to act normal. We're not going to be in fear. Uh, we're not going to allow. And if everybody did that, all the small businesses and all the people out there. Guess what? That would break their hold. They would see. And I'm I'm having a feeling that that could happen anyway. Because I'm seeing it happen already. I'm starting to see people get fed up. Okay. Get angry. Uh, maybe a little anger for a while is good to pull your pull you pull you out of your complacency. So think on these things today, people. Think on these things. If you if you think what I have to say has any merit. Pass it on. And and you don't have to pass this video on. Pass it on in your own words. Okay? Just use your gut instincts. Use your intuition. Does this feel normal to you? Ask yourself that question and answer it truthfully. Does this feel normal to you? Do you have any evidence that this is called for? Have you been proven beyond a reasonable doubt that we're in some kind of horrific pandemic? Because if it is, I don't see it. I don't see it. So I'll leave it there. I'll say peace unto you. Amen. Amen, Ra. In other words, the word amen that all these Christians and a lot of you have been saying, guess where that originated from? Amen, Ra. Okay. That was the original belief system where all belief systems came from, okay? Way, way back a long time ago, people. If you want to be enlightened, okay? If you want to be enlightened, go within. Go within and ask your own higher self and your own God self what you should do. I'm just. A messenger. I'll leave it there. <laughs>